are overheating. So we're crossing on the ferry now, going to the south coast of Labrador from Newfoundland, and we're about to tackle a ton of big, scary, steep, 12% grades with a tailwind with no fan. So that tail tailwind might sound good, but without a fan, it means the truck is gonna get zero cooling. This is gonna be brutal. So yeah, having some problems with this truck. No idea what it is. Brought the quality truck and trailer. Those guys are pretty much the power stroke specialists. The fan speed sensor circuit is open and uh, can't figure out why. Checked the fuses, checked. I mean, we cha I changed the fan, the, the whole fan assembly, and uh, this thing is just having a lot of trouble. Got the puppy. Yeah, usually we could make it, but the wind's coming to our back, so we're going with the wind, which means that we're getting even less cooling, and it's uh, just, just a bad time. Just tried to hook up the fan straight, just smoke came out of the fan assembly, um, had a Ford Tech look at the wiring and try and tell me what had to go where, and it just nothing, nothing worked. Can't get the fan to engage at all. Um, this, yeah, this really sucks. This is it, we're going down, we're gonna go down to the bridge. We're starting off with pretty hot temperatures, 199. The wind is right to our back. 225. We're not gonna make it to the top, but we might get away with just one overheat. So that's, you know what, I'll, I'll take that. Oh, we're so close. I'm calling it here. I am calling it here. All right, so the overheat warning didn't come on, so maybe, maybe it won't. I'm sure it's gonna hit 113 now in a second anyways. This is so bad, this poor truck. Guys, if any of you know what could be happening, um, it's the, the code is for fan speed circuit open, fan speed sensor circuit open, and uh, plugged it in, found the code. Fuses are good. Uh, there's only one fuse that I can find for the, the cooling fan. Changed the entire fan unit with a brand new Ford part and it's just nothing's working. If you guys know like a common place for wires to be chafing or just any suggestion, that'd be great. As you can see here, we are like over 5 degrees which is over 12%. I'm not sure what that is. So this is super steep. We're back down below 200 Fahrenheit. Uh, we're gonna wait for these couple vehicles to go by. Gotta, gotta love it, we were here for like 15, 20 minutes, no vehicles coming this way, now that we're ready to go. As soon as we're ready to go. All right, we're gonna put this one in four low and uh, head on up. All right, we are four low, first gear, and uh, we're just gonna crawl up. The temperature's gonna go up super quick. But that's it, that's all we can do. Well, 
pulling away. We're at 203. That's not too bad. Alright. Well, we made it to the top. And, uh, technically didn't overheat on this hill. I was getting to the top. No, I wasn't going to make it. So I just let off and uh, let her cool down. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit more before I get going because this is a little bit of a hill here. But once you get moving, keep our momentum up, we should be good. against the wind that just changes everything so it's not too too bad of a problem it could be worse but still heavy towing is gonna have to be out until that is fixed yeah like I said if, if anyone knows what this could be that would be well guys the truck made it it did another awesome job the, uh, we overheated a few times, but I tried not to let it go too far, you know, stopping early, you know, before we actually caused damage. Hopefully she's good. I guess only time will tell if we did any actual long-term damage. But once again, she got the job done, and that's going to be it for another video. So guys, paddle shifters, email down in the description. Go follow us on Instagram, danger underscore industries. And for today... Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. You guys, you guys have a good day.